Hello there, it's Marco Schwartz here. In this video, I will show you how to get started with the ESP32 board. So this is like the big brother, so to say, of the ESP8266. So it has much more functions like Bluetooth, for example. And a lot of you have been asking uh, for this get started guide because it's quite uh, different to use than the ESP8266 chip. So I really wanted to make this video to help you get started and build your own sketches on the ESP32 platform. So just as a note, I will be using this board here, which is uh, the official development board from uh, Express IF. Of course, you can do this tutorial using any board uh, that you can find on the market with the ESP32 chip. It will work just as well. So now I will show you how to um, configure the project and also get started with the ESP32 chip. So the first thing that you will need for this project is of course the ESP32 board. So here I will be using the development board from SPSIF and I will also be using the breadboard just to actually maintain the board uh, on my desk. Next, I will uh, show you how to configure the project. It's very simple. Just place the ESP chip uh, board on the breadboard just like that and after that, take a USB cable from your computer and just plug that into the board and you are basically done with the configuration. So now let's see how to actually use our ESP board. So I will really show you how to get started with it. So the only thing we'll do is actually connect your board to your Wi-Fi network. And then you, from there, you will be able to do every kind of operations using the board, using, for example, uh, all the example sketch given uh, with the ESP32. And I will also, of course, show you where to find those examples. So the first thing we have to take care of is actually how to use the board and how to be able to upload sketches to the board. So I will use the Arduino language for that, but I won't actually use the Arduino IDE like I usually do in my videos. And this is because if you navigate to this uh, address here, which is the official repository for the ESP32 uh, chip with Arduino, you will see that it's quite difficult uh, to install it uh, using the Arduino IDE. So you can see for example for Windows, uh, let's go there, you have a lot of steps here, right? So because I didn't want you to um, go through all those steps and because also I would have to do a tutorial for every platform as it's very different. I will now use uh, a tool called Platform IO. Okay, and I recently actually discovered this tool. It's very nice, and I will definitely use it more and more inside actually all my videos. So to install it, uh, I just navigated it here to the Platform IO uh, project. Basically, you need to install it using either. Um, Atom, so which is a text editor for all platforms, or VS Code. Here I chose to use Atom for this tutorial, but you could perfectly do it using VS Code. So to install Atom, you can just go to atom.io and you will be able to uh, install this text editor. So I will assume that this is done, and now what I will do is actually uh, open Atom over there. So I have it here. So I will close those windows. And then I will go to Preferences. And from there, I will go to Install. And in there, I will type Platform. Let's just type Platform to, to try. And you will have many, actually. And one is called Platform IO IDE. And that's the one you want to install. So I will just click on the install button and that will install Platform ID on uh, our computer. The really nice thing with it is that we won't have to install anything to actually use it with the ESP32 chip. It will be very, very easy. And I will show you that taking one example sketch from the GitHub repository will actually be very easy and in no time you will have it uh, running on your ESP32 board. So while this is installing, what I will show you is we are going to go back to the Arduino ESP32 repository 
and in there you have libraries, okay? And that's all the libraries, basically the scene you can use on the ESP32 chip. Here, I just will go to the Wi-Fi repository examples and we'll just use this Wi-Fi client uh, sketch because it includes everything we need to actually connect to our uh, Wi-Fi network. So just this first part here. So now I will go back to Atom and yeah, it's just has been installed. So I will just restart it as they say here. And now you should have a uh, platform IO installed so it, it would navigate automatically to this. So welcome to platform IO. And the only thing you need to do here, I will just show you on a new project. So just click on new project, you will have this project wizard, which will open and you can now select your board here. So here, of course, I will type ESP32 and you can see that by default, right? I didn't install something else. Uh, by default, you have all those boards listed. And of course, I'm using here the dev module, but of course, choose. Uh, make sure that you are choosing the board that you are using at the moment. So I will choose this one and I will use Arduino for that. I will click on finish. And now I have actually my project has, has been initialized. I can close that actually. And now I have this project here and inside lib, I have some readme, that's just some help here. And I have, what's important here is this main.cpp file, which is basically like we will have in the Arduino IDE. That's where we will write uh, our sketch. So now what I will do is go to this Wi-Fi client example and just copy that here, okay? Just copy like the setup part. Back to Atom, I will just paste that in place of this setup function. And now I basically have my sketch. So what I will do now is simply delete this part because we don't need it. And basically this sketch will um, connect to the Wi-Fi network and then simply print the IP address on the serial monitor. So the only thing you have to do here is of course to replace those parameters with your own Wi-Fi network parameters. So I will just do so now. Okay, so now I just put my Wi-Fi network name and also password, and I'm actually ready to upload that to the board. So for that, it's very simple. First, click on this build button, which will actually like build the sketch for the ESP32 platform. So now that's done. As you could see, there was a success message here. And now we'll simply click on upload. And the cool stuff about platform IO also is that it will automatically detect uh, on which port your board is connected to, so you don't actually have to do anything and let's select the right serial port or something. Just hit an upload, and now this should upload the, um, the sketch right on my ESP32 board. Okay, so now it has been uploaded also with success, as you could see. And what I will do now to actually check that I am actually connected to the Wi-Fi network is just go inside, is just go in serial monitor here, which is exactly the same as within the Arduino IDE. I will open that with this bitrate on this uh, yes, serial port. Just didn't start. And now to show you what's going on, I will just reset the board just by pressing on the reset button. And as you can see, it prints exactly what we uh, wrote in the sketch. So connecting to this SSID uh, Wi-Fi name, it's connected and the IP address is this here. So here we successfully uh, managed to use the ESP32 chip. So now we have uh, a whole environment from which you can actually use more sketches. So I will just show you that uh, inside the ESP32 here. So you have 
uh, Wi-Fi clients. That's the one I use. You have many different Wi-Fi stitches here. Uh, and of course, you can use all the other libraries. Uh, for example, you have some HTTP client. I think the server will come pretty soon. At least it was not available when I recorded this video. So we have a lot that's already available. And I really invite you now to test uh, all those stitches from uh, this ESP32 repository. So this is already the end of this video about how to get started with the ESP32. I hope that using what you learned in this video, you will now be able to actually use the ESP32 chip and really get started building more advanced projects than what I just showed you inside this video. Of course, I will be back on the channel with much more content about how to build um, projects using this amazing board, which is the ESP32. Of course, if you have any questions about what I showed you inside this video, or if you have some feedback about my videos in general, please don't hesitate to leave them below. That being said, thank you again for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.